passing action for you now. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner from Elbow's Gym. Give it up for Aruna Stjankovicius. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from Tsunami Cambridge. Give it up for Kasper Orzeg. Nogi zranione od drogi, ma ręce zniszczone jak roki. Dziś na życie mam piękne widoki, wciąż walka o swoje jak mogli. Tej, wiele zakrętów wjeżdżałem se bokiem, bez kalkulacji czy opłaca się. Bóg chyba istnieje i jest moim ziomkiem, bo lecę w tym życiu na letni przez nie. Chodzę za wszystko bez żadnej rozpiny, codziennie ta sama lekcja. Brakiem mi ludzi ziom z tej samej gliny, znasz to uczucie od dziecka. W moim życiu ciągle, góra, tu, góra, tu. Kochasz czy masz problem, ziomek wróg, ziomek wróg. Nie idź już wyżej, tam czeka samotność za małe szczyty, nawet dla dwóch. Halo, kto mówi, ziomek czy wróg, ziomek czy wróg. Dlatego zostań moim przyjacielem, bo w moim życiu za dużo wrogów już. A wszyscy, których jestem pewien, oni są ze mną, będą jak anioł w stróż. Zostań moim przyjacielem, takim na stałe, jak ten pod skórą. Recepty na szczęście, choć w życiu miałem go sporo Może czas zmienić podejście, zmienić monochrom na kolo Każdy chce w życiu tego samego, zdrowia, miłości na starcie miliona Układasz plany jak w ciemności Lego, by stanąć do pionu ze złamanych kolan Za życie bliskich, kąt tam królestwo, lecę za nimi na złamanie karku Do spełnionych marzeń, dodaję pesto, by życie nigdy nie straciło smaku Góra, dół, góra, dół i tak bez końca życie nam bandzi Góra, dół, góra, dół Powiedz mi jak mam kontroli nie stracić Pokochać wroga to prawdziwa sztuka Wybaczyć zdradę zależy z kim Na siłę w życiu braci nie szukam Powoli tworzę najlepszy tego Zostań moim przyjacielem Bo w moim życiu Za dużo wrogów już A wszyscy, których jestem pewien Oni są ze mną Będą jak anioł w stróż Zostań moim przyjacielem Introducing to you one more time, fighting out of the red corner from Elbow's Gym. Give it up for Aruna Jankovicius. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from Tsunami Cambridge. Put your hands together for Kasper Ozeg. This boxing contest will be fought over three two minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Andy Nichols. First boxing action in the evening then here. Contenders 27, Arunis Jankovicius from Elvo's Gym in the red corner in the all-black shorts and opposing him in the all-white shorts, hopefully, is Kasper Ozeg from Tsunami Gym, Cambridge. Two big guys in the ring here, 88 kilo boxing, three two-minute rounds. Referee Andy Nichols, the cage is locked. And we are ready, Mark Heath, Dean Mithat, boxing action, Dean, round one underway. 
Both men very large for 88 kilos. These are big guys. What only one punch will be needed to end this. And they're both coming forward aggressively. And Kavishas certainly looking to land that huge right hand he's thrown a couple of times already. Some nice head movement here from Jackie Vicious. Oh, Zek did a good job of going to the body into the head. He's thinking, Oi, Oi, he's nice, left hook. Left hook, yeah. nice left hook there from Janka Vicious. Best punch of the fight so far. Ozek, the, the slightly taller man, more range, Dean. And he's the one looking to establish the jab in the early going. Janka Vicious is just trying to bull forward and land some heavy leather. Yankee Vicious has got to start using the jab to set this up. Like you said, he comes forward, he just covers up and looks down and swings and hopes he's going to connect. He needs to look at his opponent through the guard. Look, he's just eating shots, walking onto these punches. He needs to look at his opponent and set these punches up, make them make sense, not draw that right hand all the way down to his hip. He's basically saying to Oze, look, my right hand's coming next. Absolutely, I'm guessing, look at him, all black shorts, black socks, black shoes. I'm guessing he's a big Mike Tyson fan. He needs to get that head movement on the way in. So that's how Tyson got inside. Is Jose lands some good shots as Jankovic comes forward. Nice work there from Jankovic. Big combination, Dean. Jose did a good job of looking for the jab. Let me go. He sets it up. Looks for the power shot behind. Moving quite well. Nice pivot from Jose. Jankovic really needs to do something on the way and to establish it. At the moment, he's just winging that huge left hook. And he's getting caught on the way. And again there from Jose. Nice right hand, Dean. Ozek just using more tools in the toolbox. Look, he goes upstairs, downstairs, uppercuts, jabs. Look at that beautiful uppercut from Ozek. Nice boxing here from Kasper Ozek. Very slick boxing indeed. And again, Jackie Vicious is just a punch back. The referee's looking on. That's what we need more of, Jackie Vicious, to use the head movement and then put a punch on the end of it. You know, he's got to start, stop coming forward and looking down at the ground and eating all these big heavy shots. They're going to add up and he's going to end up on, on the canvas here, Mark. Let's see this replay then. Some great work from Ozek in the first one. There was that big left hook from Jackie Vicious, which gave him some confidence early on. But then Ozek really came into it, Dean, and he was lighting Jackie Vicious up like Christmas on Oxford Street at some point in that first round. Look at this, Ozek. Big power punches, but he sets it up with the jab, sets up with the head movement, looking to change levels, to gauge the response of Janky Vicious, and then mount the offense. Yeah, I was saying, I'm sure that Janky Vicious is a Mike Tyson fan, judging by his attire and maybe his build, but the way Tyson got inside was to use that head movement on the way in, slip the jab with the, the cross on the way in, and then land those big hooks. When you see more of that from Janky Vicious, if that is the way he wants to fight, there's certainly Jose showing the better boxing uh, in that first round thing. Ready for round two here at Contenders 27. Hashtag Contenders 27 on Twitter. Let us know what you're thinking of the fight so far. Arunas Jankovicius in the black shorts and Kasper Ozeg in the white shorts. Let's see if Jankovic can turn the tide in the second round, Dean. A look at the difference there in the open of the second round. Ozeg got into a bit of trouble close range. And what does he do? He initiates the clinch. That's very underutilized in boxing. If you're in trouble, you get rocked. Use the clinch to recover. Use the clinch to smother your opponent's big power punches. Absolutely. See Jose pouring with the jab, looking to push Jankovicius back. And Jankovicius just went, oh! Oi! Well, that was certainly an illegal blow. Warning here from referee Andy Nichols. We'll just check on Casper Jose. He's okay. We'll resume hostilities. And Jose will no doubt want to make his foe pay for that. that impudence. As he comes forward again, looking to land some heavy leather. Going to the body and the head now, doing great work from Casper Jose. Now, Kipis is looking to counter off the punches here, but I'd argue that he's the slower of the two. He needs to make Ozek uh, really miss, like use the head movement, as you alluded to, the Mike Tyson type of head movement. Get inside, then look for that power left hook and right hand that he's been looking for. Yeah, he's got to do something to get himself inside. He can't just walk into the range of this man. He's Ozek... eating these punches, Mark, up against the cage here. Ozek is storming in, looking for a finish, but look at that. Yankee Vicious powers the back foot in to charge Ozek back. Fair play to Vankovicius there. He thought he was in trouble and he charged forward. Great heart. But Ozeg is just tearing off on him again, Dean. And the referee will be taking a very close look at this because he's taking some big, big shots. That's what I like to see, Vankovicius. Just consolidating the information and then alluding to the different game plan. Now he's starting to clinch when he gets in trouble. But again, he's standing in front of his opponent and just eating all these shots. He's eating them on the gloves. But some of that power is still going to translate to his head. I'd like to see maybe Jose go to the body as he looks to find what could be the finishing punches here, maybe go to the body and then up top, trying to unlock the high guard of Jankovic as he comes forward. 
Nice little hand trap there from Jose. You don't see that enough in boxing, in my opinion. Golovkin is brilliant at it. And there we go, end of the second round. Big, deep breath there from Jankovic. He came through a crisis, Dean, and he walked back to his corner. He's taken some big, deep breaths. There's no doubt about it, Jankovic has got power to finish the fight. He just needs to work a way in. That way is the jab and the movement. You saw a little bit of that movement towards the end of that last round. He moved and Ozek just stared at him because Jankovic didn't put anything on the end of it and he was a little bit too far of range. So when he is in range, use the head movement, put the punches on the end of it. There we go with the replay. Let's see if we can see the work that Ozek has put together because he landed. This is that's the, uh, the illegal shot there. Clearly, Ozek had his, his uh, glove on the floor. And then Jose came storming forward and was landing some, some big shots, as we see here. Nice uppercut, wobble Jankovicius, and it looked like he was in serious trouble there, Dean. But fair play to him, he came charging forward. Yeah, he's charging forward and he's almost punching with the front of his knuckles as opposed to his actual fist. You know, he's, he's storming forward just kind of almost desperately, but that's going to get him in trouble. He needs to keep the hands up, move the head, and put something on the end of those punches. I can't stress that point enough. Third and final round then, boxing action here, contenders 27, Arunas Jankovicius versus Kasper Ozeg. Jankovicius, you think, is probably two rounds down so far, so he certainly needs to find a big punch in this round, got to land it on Ozeg, maybe get a, a count or a, or a uh, knockdown if he's going to turn this fight around, see if Ozeg goes straight back to the boxing dean. Ozeg now looking to parry that jab out the way. Jankovicius got to be careful about dropping that right hand when he throws the left though. If Ozek can time that, he can work the left hook. Again, nice work there, nice ducking and weaving and some footwork there from Ozek. Nice shot to the body as well, beautiful work from Ozek. Then he goes with the uppercut as well. Classic boxing skills here, Dean, from Kaspar Ozek. Yeah, Ozek just, uh, just more kind of elusive, more uh, technical with the boxing. And of course, he's got the power, but what I like is he doesn't put himself at risk. He now understands the game of boxing, to go upstairs and downstairs, to disguise what he really wants to do, and more importantly, move the head and move the feet. Can Jack Fisher find the punch that he needs to turn the tide? He's not going to find it like that, just ducking forward, looking at the floor. Just kind of walking into Ozeg's range and looking at the floor, Dean. He's got to do something to unlock Ozeg better than that. Yeah, he's looking to eat those punches on the guard and then count them with yeah. that left hook, but Ozeg is wise to that. He moves off, keeps the hands up nice and high. Beautiful jab from Ozeg. Excellent jab. You see Ozeg just wrestled to the floor there by Jankovicius. Jankovicius starting to wear the damage on his nose. Looks like that big right hand. Mouth open now for Jankovicius, which is always dangerous when you're boxing. And Ozeg looking for that uppercut and What's happening is he's looking for the uppercut because Jankovic is putting the head down, but he's almost leaning down so he's covering for the uppercut. So I'd like to see Ozek read that, go to the body, either the left or right body shots. There's a 10 second clacker. Is there going to be a Hail Mary punch in here that could end it? I don't think so as we approach the end of this fight. Oh, big right hand there from Ozek. Just the exclamation point there, Dean, on what you'd imagine is a points victory for Kaspar Ozek. Just the more sound boxing technique, the ability to consolidate all the tools that he needed to, and then technically put them into play in the contender's cage mark. A beautiful display from Ozek. We go to the replay here and see what we have coming up. There's that nice jab and the body work from Ozek. And then he looks for that kind of corkscrew uppercut as well. Yeah, all the way through, you'd have to say that Kasper Ozeg was just a better boxer, wouldn't you? Yeah, Jankovic just clearly had the power, but he just couldn't find a way in to land it. He almost certainly had the power, so he just pushed him to the ground, but that's that's not the game. You know, you have to cu couple the head movement with the punches, use the jabs, set up the footwork, and, you know, you, from the fight, you saw Jankovic just storm forward with his hands on his head. Simply didn't do enough, in my eyes. We shall see as we await the uh, official decision. I think ref, uh, MC Tom Vince has it, and he's going to step into the cage. So here we go. Every fight so far has gone to decision. We've got some MMA action coming up next, so don't go anywhere. Here we go. Let me see Tom Vince with the official decision here. Fighters to the centre of the cage, please. Ladies and gents, let's hear it for both of these boxers here tonight. What a great three rounds of action that was. After those three hard-fought rounds, we have a unanimous decision. Your winner. In the blue corner, give it up for Kaspar Ose.
Yogi's animal, doggy. Let's be strong.